Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Async Fire. In this video, I'm going to show you how to implement a stack using linked list. So let's begin. For, uh, as you can see, I've written some of the pre-built codes right over here. First of all, I have included two standard input and output header files and one standard library header file. I've also declared some of the method. These are the method uh, function prototypes. And I've also written some of the driver codes, which is the main function and the display messages function. Uh, we're going to fill out this push function, pop function, display function, and the peak function. And we are going to see uh, how this stack works. So to make this stack works, first of all, we need to construct uh, something called a structure. So we're going to say type def, say struct, I'm gonna, uh, and then node. And it would have two portion, a data part and a pointer to the structure itself. The pointer to the structure itself would be node, uh, sorry, struct, node, star, and we're gonna call it next. And this will be type def to node. Okay, so we've created our structure. It contains two parts, a data part, and a self-referential pointer, which is uh, pointing to the same struct node. So let's go and create our top pointer which will point to the first node in our linked list. So let's go with uh, node star top is equals to null. Cool. Now let's create our push function. So to create our push function, we need to dynamically uh, allocate a data, dynamically allocate a uh, space in our memory of the size of structure. So to do that, we're going to say node star new uh, new node is equals to malloc let's say use the size of and we're going to say node okay now if the new node that we have just created is null that means memory cannot be allocated so we are going to say printf uh, slash n we say stack overflow Then we'll just simply go and do a return which will stop the push function there if not then we need to do the stuff so the new nodes data portion would have the data that we just passed into which is this data and the new nodes next portion would contain what uh, what was top was pointing to previously so the top always points to the first node and we are making the new nodes next portion to point to the first element of the list now we have to just simply make top is equals to new node so uh, now uh, the top uh, top node is the new node and new node's next portion contains the previously what was top was pointing to and we have changed the top to the new node this will push data into our system. So let's go to pop over here. If the top is not equals to null, then we are going to pop out from the uh, top, pop out from the stack. So to do that, we first of all need to uh, say uh, we're going to store store node star temp is equals to the top we're going to say top top is equals to tops next portion and we're going to free the uh, temp over here okay so we are storing the top in 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 temp and we are uh, making the top go to the next node of our list and we are freeing the actual top element uh, from our list. But if the top is not equal to null, then it will continue. But what happens if the top is null? We're going to say, so let's go over here. Simply do after doing this, we're going to return. Else what we're going to do is we're going to print f stack is stack is empty. Now 
let's go to the display function. Display function is very easy to do, implement. We're going to first need a node pointer, cur, which stands for um, let's go see URR, which uh, points to the current element. It will be pointing to top. Now we're going to say uh, while top, uh, not top, it would be cur, cur's next portion. Next portion is not equals to null. Now I'm thinking I did some mistake over here. 12 plus x. Okay, so let me remove that over here. Let me do the print statement over here. It will be much more easier. So the print statement will be if the top is null. Then we're going to print this and return. Okay, that is much more cleaner now. So the current portion we're going to do is a printf person d. And we are going to do the cur, the data part. And then we're going to move the, the cur, the, the curves next pointer. pointer. And after that, uh, curves next pointer will stop at the very last element. We are going to print the last element's data part. Four. So we have done that. Let's go to the peak function and write to the peak function. Okay. If the top is not, not equal to null. We are going to go and return the top data part. Cool. So, so this, this is our uh, stack. Let's so welcome, welcome to Stack BC. Operational list is uh, press one for push, two for pop, three for peak, four for display, and zero to quit. So enter your choice, I'm going to say 1, with the element I'm going to say 5, 5 is in our current stack, let's say again 1, and the element is let's say 10, then again let's do 15, 1, 20, 1, let's go with 25. So the push function works, let's check for the pop, pop also works, let's check for the peak, top is 15, yeah let's go for display, yeah it is. Let's again go with pop. Let's again go with pop. Let's again go with pop. Stack is empty. Now let's go with. Let's try to peak the top element. Top is not available. Stack is empty. Cool. Now let's go. Let's again print. Five stack is empty. Let's go to zero. Thanks for using stacks. We see. So this was our code, guys. Hope you like it. Please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe my channel. And stay tuned for more such amazing video. Bye bye, and see you in my next video.